Python for Beginners. A series of lectures on Python language with real-life problems and their solutions by Imran's. Our third lecture on Python strings and file handling. Please subscribe to our channel for getting updated videos right away. Strings are marked by writing text within quotation marks. Strings may contain alphabets. They may contain numbers within quotation marks. If we want to find the type of the numbers within quotation marks, it will be string rather than a number. You can write multi-line text by writing three quotation marks in start and in the end of the text. When you print, the lines will be in the same sequence as you had written. You can use string slicing method to slice out a part of string. We use square brackets and index number. If you remember, index starts from zero. So, if we write zero in square brackets, it would print the first letter, which is G in our case. Third index is D. If we use colon and then index number, the slice will be printed from start till index number minus one. If the index number is 3, text will be printed from index 0 to 2. Similarly, if start with index number, followed by a colon. String will be printed from that number and onwards. You can also slice out strings by taking index from the end. In this case, you will use negative values of the index. If you want to print last character, then minus one is to be used, and so on. You can concatenate strings by using plus sign. It's like adding one string into other. Basically, they gel together. In the example, we gel first name and last name to make full name of the person using string concatenation method. You can use lower command to convert string to lower case letters. while upper command to convert string to uppercase letters. Capitalize command will convert first letter of string to capital letter. Let's again take the example of John Doe. Please observe that we have provided empty space before first name. Some space is there after the last name as well. We use string concatenation method to find full name of Mr. John Doe. But when we print, the empty space is also printed before and after name. So why not remove this space? We use strip command to remove the space before and after a string. This function is very helpful during cleaning of data. We can modify strip command to either remove empty space from start or from end. You can use left strip command if you want to remove from beginning of string. Else use right strip to remove space from the end. We plan to replace Mr. John with Mrs. Jane. We shall use replace command to replace John with Jane. Please note that, we write the letter to be replaced in first place, followed by a comma and the character to be replaced with. This operation is case sensitive and will replace all the matching characters. We again want to print the full name. This time, we want to center the string over a given length. 
we have mentioned the length as 18. We use center command to get our text centered. We have also printed 18 numbers just to make convenient to you to check if the string is centered over 18 digits. You may use left justify command to left align the string or right justify command to right align the string. Find command returns the index number of first occurrence of the found letter. We try to find O with find command. It returns 1 as the index number of the first occurrence of O. If find command is unable to find the required letter, it will return minus 1. It didn't find M. As find command searches for first occurrence of the letter. The our find command returns the last occurrence of the letter. Index command is very similar to find command. It also returns the index of first occurrence of the searched letter. The only difference is that it will return error if it does not find the searched letter. If you remember, the find command returns minus 1 if it does not find. Similarly our index is used to find the last occurrence of the letter. Count command is used to return the number of times the character is found in the string. Letter O is present at two places. You can use format command to enter the input values in the curly brackets. We have used format command with three values in parenthesis. These values will be entered in the same order to the curly brackets. First value in first curly bracket and so on. You may change the order of the values by placing index numbers in the curly bracket. First value will go to curly bracket with zero index, then to one and last one to two. In our example, we have reversed the order of entering values. Sometimes, you want to add quotation marks within quotation marks for a string. As for marriage in our example. When you print, it will generate a syntax error. To overcome this error, you can use escape character, a backslash. After backslash, use quotation marks on both sides of marriage. It would be fine now. Escape character can also be used to insert a new line. After backslash enter n for new line. You may like to add a tab with escape character. For this, enter T after backslash. Zfill is used to fill the string with zero in the start of it. In our example, we have a string with one to five characters. If you want to place three zero before the string, put the value in bracket as eight. In this way, remaining three characters will be zero. You can also use string methods to check for boolean value. That is, if it is true or false. For this use is function to check if it is true or false. In our example, is alphabet will print false. While will print true if it is checked for being alphanumeric. Similarly, we can check if it is empty space which is also false. It becomes true as we enter some space between the quotation marks. To create a new file, we use open command. We specify the file location and type of file, like text file. 
we can use exclusive mode, X. This will create new file but will generate error if file already exists. We already have file with the name, test, so it gives us an error message. Let's open this file in write mode to write some text into it. We use W to mark write mode. We enter two lines of text. Once we are finished writing up our file, we need to close it. It is always a good practice to close the file otherwise, buffering could cause unsaved data problems. We again open our file in read mode to print what we have entered. We use art to open file in read mode. Once file is opened in read mode, we use read command to print all the file contents. You can also specify the numbers of characters you want to show. We use append mode to append data at end of last output. We use letter A to mark the append mode. We enter some more text and close the file. We open the file again in read mode and print our output. We use read command to print output. Now, three lines of text are printed. Alternatively, you may use read lines command to print the output in the form of a list. Each line becomes elements of the list with quotation marks and comma in between. That end character shows the new line break. You will learn more about list in the next lecture. Use seek command to offset to a desired position. As we have used six as offset from our initial position to start output. The first six characters are not showing in output. Instead of closing a file every time, you can use with open command to open the file as f or any name. We use colon and a block of code with indentation. Your file will be automatically closed once you exit this block of code. We use read command to print the output of our file. But there are other ways also to print the output. One is read line method. It will print a single line of text. If we need to print two lines of text, we can repeat that command. Finally, you can use for loop to generate all the lines of the file. Here, we have opened a text file, text1 is f, in, read mode. We have also defined a variable, f1 which stores the output as we read the file using, read command. Next, we open the same file in write mode. We use f1 as our input for writing the text in the same file. We open the file for the third time in read mode to print its output.
we can apply different strings methods for editing our file. We would apply it on our first read command block of code. Let's replace morning with evening in our file text using replace command. We run the code for applying our changes. But nothing happens. Because we have used the lowercase letters, but morning was written in capital. So why not change the whole text to lowercase? As we do it, the code runs perfectly for us. If we observe, we have empty space at start of our first line. It's a good idea to remove this space using strip command. The space is gone as we run the code. If we had used append mode instead of write mode, then text would have been appended to our existing text. So, use write mode for formatting the text. We strongly recommend that you follow our sequence of videos on Python to fully understand concepts and move on to next level. Please subscribe to stay updated.